Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have discussed about the post state, right? So let's now in this video, let's try to implement in the coding format. So how we can implement this type of behavior? So first, what we'll do, what we'll try to do is before creating this app state, let's try to create the post state. So just like the counter state, how we have created, so we'll be creating this in the same scenario, the post state. So now let's go to the code here we are having the counter state right the counter state is located in the counter counter module now let's go to the post module here if you go here this is the post module and here i am creating a new folder state under this state i am creating three files that is nothing but post.state.ts okay so this is one file and another file is post.reducer.ts and last file is post dot actions okay actions dot ts so these are the two three files which are responsible for the implementing the state management so now let's try to do dot ts okay we have implemented dot t now let's try to implement the state so let's go to the post dot state dot ts in this video we have discussed that post dot state dot ts will be having some something like this ex, uh, export interface post state now here what i will try to do is export interface okay interface so before interface what i will try to do is constant initial state so the state for this post it will be something like it will be of type post and this is the array of object and it will be taking id of one okay title of sample title one so afterwards we will try to get it from the backend database First, we will try to get the we will try to write the dummy data. Description will be the sample description one, and another one we have created. So this is the sample data we are having. Okay, now I want I need to create an interface for this one for this initial state. So how I can create export interface post state and what is the type of data we are having? We are having the post. This is the post, right? We are having the post, and here you will be are having the array of like this, right? Array of like this. So instead of keeping like this, what we can do is so this is the post module, right? So let's go to the post module, or otherwise in the app itself, we will create a new folder that is nothing but the models. And here I will create post dot model.ts. I am creating a model file, and in this model what i will try to create is export interface post so the blueprint for the post so it will be having id of type string okay and title of type string and also last one will be the description description of type string so these are the three things which will be existing now let's go to the post.state.ts and here we can write directly we can import the post and it will be having area of post like this okay it will be actually area of post and here what i can do so this is of type i can write post state okay so we have implemented the interface so here if you go so we have implemented the post this this one we have kept it in a separate module and in this export interface of post state we have implemented the post state and also we have implemented the dummy data also let's see let's export this one also okay now we have implemented the post or post also so let's want it to yeah so post state we have defined now let's go to the reducer so now let's implement the reducer as you already know reducer is a pure function and i can write post reducer like this okay and here what i can do it will take the type state okay so state and the action it will take the state and the action and here what we need to do same what we have written like this written post reducer sorry post reducer so i am creating another method so i will pass this method to here and what i will try to do is so here i will create constant underscore post reducer is equal to create reducer and here it will take the initial state okay it will take the initial state right so initial state or initial initial 
state it should be imported from the post you need to remember that so this initial state should be imported from the post not from the counter counter also has has one initial state if you go to the counter dot state and here you will be able to see the initial state we should not import this one why because that is a post module we need to import the state that belong to the post thing only so now we have did the post state when we are writing the actions so when we define the actions we will write the actions so this is the post reducer now what we need to do so we have defined the post okay okay we have defined the post state and we have defined the post reducer now we now we need to what we need to do so these two things has been defined and now what we need to do is we need to define the app state so this is the app state so this app state app state doesn't belongs to any module so it is a global app state so why because we are having only the single state for an application right so this app state we need to create in the application right so what i will try to do is go to the app here and i will create a new folder store whatever the name you want you can give it store or state and in this store what i will try to do here i will create app.state.ts okay this is the main state file and here what i will try what i will do is export interface app state so here i will be writing the app state and in this app state i will i will insert counter state sorry uh, yeah counter state and also post 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 state okay so this counter state also let's try to import so we have imported it. so this is the export this is the app state and also what we have did this app state so to, tomorrow any other new state comes here you can define down the state app state also and another one what we need to do so we have defined the app state we have defined the app state okay we have defined the app state and we have defined everything we have defined now what we need to do is let's go to the app module so here this is the app module and in, in this app module store for module counter counter reducer is there right we need to define post colon post reducer we need to define the post reducer instead of writing this all the things so let's go to the main we already have the main store right and here what i will try to write do is export constant okay app reducer so this is the app reducer right so here i will write counter is equal to counter reducer so let's import this counter reducer import sometimes for me the imports will not tell why i don't know so now or otherwise mm, let's go to the counter let's go to the state and let's go to the counter reducer and here what i will try to do here you will be having the uh, what is that counter reducer yeah i can use this counter reducer and uh, we have the post right so let's add this post reducer yeah this one told it, it showed automatically and i can use this app reducer directly in the app module just what i did i think what i did is i have written in somewhere place in the app state only and instead of writing this all the things instead of writing here the object i am creating in one variable i am exporting here i can use this app reducer and here i can import this app reducer directly from where it from the app state no so this one is it is simple it looks cleaner and now what we need to do so now we have did the app reducer now let's try to check the output if i try to check the output if i go to the counter and if i try to inspect element if i do if i try to do the inspect element so nothing no far so far no errors and if i try to clear it okay so we got the output and here if we try to see so it executed successfully and if i click on increment and decrement it is working fine without any problem and if we go into the redux dev tools and if i try to see okay if i try to see and here the state what is the state it is having the counter only is having so for example if i want to go to the complete state and here you will be able to see the posts also it is there in the counter okay post also is there now now it's time to use this post state also in our post module so now here you will be able to see the post state see confirm continuously total the state what we are having you are able to see and this counter is used you only the counter module now in the now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to use this post in our post module how we can use this post data in our post module let's try to see in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you